She's chill. She just wants to eat. Yeah, I get it. I'm the same. One of the same. Me and Adela. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome home. First morning back from New York. Lots happening today. So we're starting with coffee. We're adding a little splash. Pumpkin oat beverage this morning. Okay, first thing I have to do is plan out my day in the week. I like to do this on Sundays or Mondays, but obviously I was away, now it's Tuesday. It's also dark at five now, and I know what that's gonna do to me. So I gotta think ahead, and I also only have the first half of the day to get things done because I'm going on like a little trip this afternoon. Absolutely crazy. My computer's dying, which means I have to go upstairs and charge it in the office, but the office is a mess. I left it very messy. I don't even wanna look at it because that's another thing to add to the list, which is crazy. Clean it. I have a lot I want to do today and very limited hours. I have three. Fuck. Okay. We gotta, we gotta go upstairs. Just kidding. I have four. I need to move this back an hour. Ugh. Much better. I have four hours. Today is also Iron Flame Day. I am so excited. I thought it was yesterday and then it was not yesterday, but it's today. So I have time to read it in the car on our way to our destination this afternoon. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But part of me is like, do I just want to wait until I can be cozy when I get home and like just dive in all night? It is 9 a.m. I slept for nine and a half hours last night. Like I really just wanted my body to recharge a little bit and recover from all of the walking like we walked almost a full marathon the first day and then there were two more days of like 25,000 steps so my body's just a little tired but i feel really good after like a nice deep sleep that was such a fun weekend like i love that it's so easy to pop over to new york from over here so fun such a great time with all the girls and such a good reminder of how much i love new york city <laughs> anyways i need to like deeply focus on what needs to get done before i leave the house at around one o'clock i gotta make a list otherwise this day will get away from me before i can blink <laughs> i'm gonna need my coffee Eleven forty. We're gonna start getting ourselves ready here. I have an hour and twenty minutes until I have to leave the house. Today, I am going to a goat farm, and I'm going to play and work with alpacas. <laughs> I'm so excited. It is gonna be such an experience. Sarah and I were both invited, so it's going to be a day. I don't exactly know what to wear to a goat farm or what to wear when spending the day with alpacas. <laughs> I'm actually so excited. They're gonna be so fluffy. We're actually gonna have this whole Peruvian experience today. It's with Air Transat. It's gonna be super cool. I think it's around an hour drive to the goat farm, and then we're there until dinner time. We have a sunset dinner. It's gonna be wonderful. But I need to refresh myself because it's been it's been a time. The weekend activities, the traveling, I just feel like I could use a little something extra. So I'm gonna use my Foreo Bear 2. Foreo Sweden's actually sponsoring the vlog and they sent me their new bear product. So I have an older version of this. This is one of my favorite devices. This device tones, lifts, tightens your face with microcurrents. Every time I use this, there's like a very visible difference, which is so cool. Like you see immediate results. It's like a little mini facelift. It's also been shown to increase the production of collagen and elasticity in your skin. So it combats fine lines and wrinkles. And as I'm approaching my thirties, it's kind of nice to have a device like this at home. <laughs> also with the way that you move it across your face, it helps with lymphatic drainage. So it really helps with puffiness. So the first step is using their serum. This is the Foreo Supercharged Serum 2.0. You put a thin layer on your face kind of like a mask. You want to sit on top of your skin so the device moves smoothly across it. This specific version of the device has four different types of microcurrents. Okay, so we're gonna start with this side of the face. Here's just the before. We're gonna turn it on. So the microcurrent is going. We're gonna go upwards and outwards on the face. This also has a new anti-shock technology in it and I can definitely feel the difference actually. It just feels smoother. We make sure to go upwards so we lift. And the cheekbone. And the eyebrows are the craziest because you can actually see a very dramatic lift. Here's the after. I feel like you could, <laughs> I feel like it's very apparent how much more lifted this side of my face is. Like my eyebrow is noticeably higher than this one, right? Like it's very apparent. I love using this, especially after like a weekend if I'm going out a lot. It makes such a difference. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do the other side and then we're done. We are done with the face. 
she's lifted she's depuffed i feel good truly love that product i would recommend highly i have a ton of their products they're all so good and right now you can get up to 50 percent off their products plus an additional five percent with my code tara5 link is down below definitely check it out I'm gonna get dressed now gotta figure out what to wear and then i'm gonna do my makeup and then we are basically right out the door i got ahead of it and i ordered my groceries this morning so those are arriving in like five minutes since the second i woke up i have been deeply multitasking and so far it's working out so i love that for me i kind of feel like an energizer buddy this morning i have been going I've had a ton to get done and somehow it seems i have 10 minutes to spare it is quite literally a miracle my groceries are here i have broccoli a green pepper i'm gonna make a soup not tonight because i have dinner out but tomorrow we're making a soup a jalapeno veggie broth three cans of cannellini beans for my white bean chili and then lastly i just got some more bubblies and that's it this is the smallest grocery haul i've ever had i really didn't have time to think about like a full week full of stuff plus i still have stuff in the fridge so i just needed to get my things for the soup and i was good i also have to figure out if this is going to keep me warm enough I have a layer underneath like this little turtleneck, but it is chilly out there today. So I'm gonna just stand outside for a minute and see how I feel. This feels good. I feel fine. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, there's a little spider that got in. You're small, I'll let you live. We got this big oversized fleece. Should do the trick. Winter is coming. <laughs> also gonna bring a pair of jeans just to switch in for dinner if everyone's changing, I don't know. But this is gonna be my alpaca outfit. <laughs> okay, I think I've done it. I really think I'm good to go. I'm gonna call my Uber. Confirm. And the last thing I have to do is turn on my Kindle so that Iron Flame downloads. Yep, there it is. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You want to cancel? Confirm. Oh no. Come on, Uber, don't fail me now. I'm having technical difficult. What, 20, no. Trying to pin it, method. Shit. Okay, I gotta figure some stuff out. This is a problem. Hello. Good, how are you? Look at the baby piggy! It's a little baby! It's like a little Brady. That's so cute! Oh, look at the alpacas! Stop that right now. Well, the alpacas are all turned up. They're waiting for you to come in. We're gonna invite you in. Two things you need to know before we actually get in with the alpacas. Don't like being touched on their heads, and they don't like their tails being touched. Kind of like us, right? It's pretty basic. <laughs> you spend a lot of time making your hair look nice. When you see their alpaca dudes, you'll understand. No head, no tail. Uh, They're all just hanging out. And then if they're upset or uh, they feel <laughs> uncomfortable, so take your time to let them get to know you. Some of them have more attitude than others. It can be a bit jumpy, so we'd like to have experienced people walk with them. Oh, you can call them by their name, but they're not gonna answer. They're hard oh to get. Oh my God. They're so packers. They're coming for us. They're coming. <laughs> Hello. Oh my God, no way. 
spit on me. Wait, I thought we were supposed to look at the eyes. No, it's spit on me if you look at the eyes. Okay, if you want Bella. We're gonna take Bella. Okay. No way! Hello? I love you. I'm dying. They're in love. Lovers! Oh my god. Hi, Bella. Bella, you look. Oh, they're actually in love. Oh, hello! Yeah, see, she already wants to get to the <laughs> I gotta stick with my, my team. Sarah, you look great. Princess Leia. Oh, you have Leia? Yeah, you're so cute. This is insane. <laughs> okay, let's go. Now you're gonna wanna run to the front. Iconic. There are all packers everywhere. <laughs> Bella's on a mission, I gotta stay with my team. You were spit on? <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Look at her little trot. I have one. I love the trot. Yeah. <laughs> Bella's a vibe. What a Tuesday. She's vibing. She's chill. She just wants to eat. Yeah, I get it. I'm the same. One of the same. Me and a Bella. <laughs> so Bella, let's go for a stroll. She's not going to. Come on, Bella. Come on. Can't help galloping. So That's all she does is gallop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like she's just a show pony. Good girly girl. Oh, she feels the camera on her. She's like, I'm gonna behave. <laughs> all she wants is to be in the front. She's a leader, natural born. <laughs> Can you believe this time yesterday we were in New York? No. <laughs> no, we're with alpacas. No. I love horses. Oh, those are ponies. Oh, 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 no cutting. You can go this way. Oh, yeah. Can I go that way? Bella, you're in the way. Oops. Don't let her eat. Don't let her eat. Sorry. Bella. Good girl. You're so good. good girl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so pocket girls. The Tuesday. That was such an incredible experience. It was so fun. The alpacas were so cute and nice. Our we had the prettiest one. She was the best. She was chill. She had a cute little trot. Oh. Our girl. Our baby. Yeah. Oh, there's a drink And now we have a beautiful dinner. I'm so excited. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is so wonderful. Sarah and I are across from each other. Love that for us. And the menu is underneath. That is so yummy. Can I actually grab one of these? Please do. Thank you. Mm. This is so good. What's more fitting than celebrating Lima, Peru as a new destination for our trends that will be here on the farm with our friends, the alpacas. We have also a great culinary experience that's coming up soon from Nuna Restaurant in Chihuahua. Do an hour of reading. See, for me, I'm going right into bed and reading oh. Iron Flame. You can't see anything. Oh! Thank you. What an experience. It feels like 10 o'clock, 7 p.m. Back on the bus. Right back to our oh, spots. Wow. Here we are. Maybe there's a baby alpaca. A baby alpaca? Didn't even notice the bags. Look at all the goodies. Okay, there's another 20 minutes until we're back, but my phone is at 6%, and I have to call an Uber when we get to the drop-off spot, so I can't use it. So that means I think it's time to start Iron Flame. Oh, you're gonna start it right now? Well, I can't look at my phone right now, and what am I gonna do for 20 minutes? You just talk to me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you're gonna start it right now? Just like, that's, like I know, it's not the vibe. The, while we're driving down the Don Valley Park. Like, I know, it's not the vibe. I need to be in bed, like, cozy with, like, moonlight. Like, this is a book you've been waiting for. <laughs> for for two, two whole weeks. Two whole weeks. Since, since, since you read it. I know. Okay, well, then you have to chat with me. I will. I'm just finishing two things. <laughs> I didn't want to disturb you. You were working. Yeah, really. Okay. Well, can, I, can you show me what you're posting? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm prepping my... Tattoo. Very excited. Okay, I want to see what you're doing. Anyways, I'm going to read it at home. <laughs> I 
Well, see you when I see you. <laughs> when am I seeing you next? I don't know. Separation anxiety will be real. And also, again, how long is it? Seven really? days straight. <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> Not me. I would never do that. Yeah, well, no, you too. What a wonderful day. Two for coming. Yeah, it's a minute away. Um, I'm do an unboxing of all the things we got. Yeah, I'm excited. We'll do it when we get home. We got four minutes to wait. Freaking cold. What the hell happened? Winter is coming. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's okay. We're gonna find a way to enjoy it. I hate it so much. I'm gonna be five. Hello. Nine p.m. and we are back home. It has been a crazy few days. It has been crazy. Tomorrow I am at home, no makeup, not going anywhere. Got a lot of work to do and I'm excited to just like be on my laptop and grind away. I'm also excited to get into bed and start my book. But before we do that, I'm gonna give you guys a haul of what we got today. So first, we got these little Air Transat comfort kits. It was such a fun day. Like, I am so honored to have been invited. Oh, it's like a blanket. We love that. And then we have this big bag. So, we have a fantastic, gorgeous travel bag. Wow. And I know there's things inside because Sarah was looking through hers in the bus. Okay, ooh, we have a Peru cookbook this is gorgeous we also have luxury alpaca wool relaxed fit socks i uh, love me some socks especially some cozy ones we have a blanket oh my god yes this is so soft and then lastly we have what appears to be a little keychain truly such a fun opportunity it's so cool getting all these fun opportunities now that i'm back in toronto and i feel like it's just really it's been really fun lately i will be in fact leaving my house a mess for another night, it's fine. Iron Flame takes priority, and that's that. I'm also pretty tired. It's just been, uh, it's been busy. And there's a ton of events coming up for the holiday season, which is so exciting, like I'm really looking forward to it. But I will be really taking in the days that I have to myself. <laughs> it's crazy to think that yesterday I woke up in New York. I woke up in New York yesterday. Today I'm at an alpaca farm. Life has been fun. I will say that. It's been super fun. I am very happy right now. <laughs> I am a very lucky girl and I'm really excited to read my book. So I'm going to pick this up in the morning. Good morning. It's actually kind of crazy to see most of the leaves on the vines are gone now. Like over the weekend, it really came off and there's a few stragglers, but that means, all that means is that we're getting closer to Christmas. I'll accept it. Ooh. Let's try on my new socks. It seems nice. This is an at-home day, guys. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not putting on makeup. I'm not taking off my glasses and putting my contacts in. Like, oh, these are gonna be nice. Like, I am a home girl today, and I cannot, ooh! We got new slouchy socks. And I'm thrilled about it. Now, I would love to just sit on the couch and read Fourth Wing all day. I would love it. I read like two chapters because I was like, okay, I know I have a big day tomorrow. Today I have a lot of work to do. My New York vlog, I know it's gonna take me a very, very, very long time to edit. There's a lot of footage on my phone and on my camera, obviously. And it's gonna take a while to sort through all of it. Usually just the importing of footage when I have a ton of it on both the camera and iPhone takes at least an hour. It's gonna be a really fun one to edit. Like I'm really looking forward to getting into it. I just know it's gonna take me a long time. Ideally, I would like to make a good dent in it. And then I also 1000% wanna clean the house this afternoon or this evening. Like I want all the clothes picked up because I don't want to let it sit for too long and then it's gonna sit for longer. So I just wanna get it done today. And I also wanna edit content for TikTok, post on Instagram. We got some things on the list. It's gonna be a good day. We're going to the office. <coughs> Yesterday I was trying to decide if I was gonna do my run today because my program has me set for Tuesday, Friday And now it's Wednesday because obviously I didn't do it yesterday But I've decided this is just gonna be a chill day like my legs don't need to move today <laughs> They have moved a lot over the last four days five days that I'm giving myself a break I'm gonna run tomorrow and then I have one last class of the program, which is so 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 wild Anyways 850 we're gonna get to it. I'm gonna drink my coffee and I will check in Eventually, I'm gonna make my soup before it gets too dark outside. So I'm thinking around four o'clock. We're making soup Popping in 958 the sporting life 10k is officially 
open to sign up and register for. My dad and I have been refreshing every single day waiting for this. It seems like a crazy thing to sign up for right now. May 12th, I'm gonna do it. Registering for a race seems crazy. Once I sign up for this, like I'm running a 10K, I will have no other option. <laughs> I should call my dad. Are we running? <laughs> I'm just filling in the form out now. Oh, shit. It's goes time. $65 register one? I'm going for the 50 one. The virtual? Yeah, it gives you um, a card, right? I don't know. What say? What's the difference? One is virtual and one is not virtual. I feel like if you get the virtual one, you're not actually running. Hold on. Oh, hold on. You don't get a medal with the virtual one. I want a medal. We want the real one. Yeah, and we want the post-event celebration. You don't get that with the virtual. Okay, well, thank God you're calling me. Thank God. The estimated finish time. We're going to do 59 minutes. Okay, okay. Because what that'll do, that'll put us in the sub-60 corral. Okay. But we'll probably hit yeah, 59. Okay. Sure. Let's check this fucker out. Uh, I'm gonna click submit. Wow. You are now officially in. Wow, look at us, Dad. Look at us, man. We're gonna do it. Who would have ever thought that this day would come? Not me, not you. Every day you get closer, so there's your motivation. Yep, I needed something because I, I finished my, my run this week. My runs, my eight weeks, yep. so. I knew something smelled wrong. Oh, it's gonna taste weird. Fuck. It's the worst sauce. No, for sure no. I really hope they can be safe. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to think, you know, get it done fast. I wasn't thinking. Oh, it's gonna be fine. A little chili in your crunch. This is just simply the best fast lunch ever in my opinion i'm worried they've been fucked up and they're not gonna hit the same no they're gonna be fine cheers mm, thank god there's a hint of the worcestershire i think somebody said they call it wushu shoe sauce wushu sauce either way there's little hints but not enough to ruin my vibe Five nineteen. i've only paused because there was someone at my door. Hand delivering one of my items that I selected from the showroom last week. I was like, when was that? I've been deep in the editing hole. I've been working on this vlog for eight hours now. I think I'm like halfway done, but I've been in like a deep editing hole. Anyways, we got this sweater. The coat and the other sweater are on the way. I just emailed them back. But I love that they hand delivered this one. It's giving Christmas. I am going to clean this evening. Like I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some stuff. I'm gonna prep for the week. I'm just trying to like get a really good dent done for the vlog. So I'm gonna edit, I think until six and then it's soup time. I can't believe I said earlier I was gonna make my soup at like 4.30. No, I gotta get back to the hole because it's been good. 40 more minutes and then I'm gonna call it for the day and we're gonna make a yummy soup and then I'm gonna clean while the soup is cooking. That's what I'm gonna do, yes. Good plan, good plan. This is the editing hole. I have my bubbly that I meant to crack and then I never cracked it, so we're gonna crack it now. Also, when I opened up the door, there was in fact snow on my doormat. So it's been raining really heavily all day, but apparently it's not rain and it's ice slash snow slash a mixture of all three. So <laughs> here we are. My laptop has 17% left. So we'll see which comes first, my laptop dying or 6 p.m. I'll let you know. <laughs> Officially back. To this vlog, hello. I feel like all day I've just been giving you guys updates, just random pop-ins. That is what happens on a day where I like need to get a shit ton of work done. Just because there's nothing for me to share on editing days because I'm not doing anything besides sitting at my computer and going through footage. Anyways, it's been a busy work day. And now it's soup o'clock. It's soup time, it's 6.20. I have to tidy the kitchen a little bit because I like had no room to even put down a cutting board, so. We're making a white bean chili today. I found a recipe on Pinterest. That's where I get all of my recipes. Creamy vegan white bean chili. Let the chopping begin.
I have learned from my past and I'm going to thoroughly wash my fingers from the jalapenos. If you were around when I first moved back to Toronto, you know what I'm talking about. No spicy tears today. Okay, so I've made it more like soupy than recommended. I just, you know, this is just me. So it's gonna be a little less like thick chili, a little more soupy chili. Waiting for this to come to a little mini simmer and then I'm gonna go up to my bedroom and pick up all the clothes. I would really love to wake up tomorrow morning with a clean space. That would be really sweet. I'll do like a deeper clean tomorrow. I just want all the clothes off the floor today. When I get to bed and get back to Iron Flame, I want it to be a vibe and be clean and light and airy and fresh. I will say though, this looks exactly like the photo from Pinterest. I'll link the recipe down below. If it's not currently in the description, leave me a comment and I will add it. Sometimes I forget, so let me know. Current status of my room, I did not make my bed. <laughs> and then here's the current status of the office. This actually pains me. We're starting in my room though. I have 15 minutes and then my soup is ready. My soup slash chili, my chili slash soup. And then I'm chilling. Then I'm on the couch watching the show and then I'm in bed reading my book. And that's how it goes. Now we get to see what I can accomplish in 15 minutes. I've done a good job. I set a 10 minute on my phone just so I'd have a heads up on the one in the kitchen. So I really have like maybe two more minutes. But now I've lost my music, which was keeping me going. It's okay, I'm fine. <laughs> I have kale in the fridge. I should. I'm going to. <coughs> oh, it's actually spicy. Okay, I'm gonna blend half of it so it's got like a thicker consistency. I think we're just gonna add all of this. I would like some greens in there. I'm actually gonna cover that with the heat off for like two minutes. Just the two minutes to put the rest in the closet. Okay. It's very good. I have my bowl. I added some more salt because it needed it. It looks so good. It looks freaking delicious. It tastes perfect. Just so you have a sense of the vibe right now, it's pouring rain. I can hear it. It's loud. Very warm soup with a little bit of spice. I'm down to the couch. I'm going to watch The Summer I Turn Pretty, <laughs> season two, episode three. It's 7.43. Like, time is perfect. Everything is great. My room is clean. The office is clean. I've done a good job today. A day well done. 8.51. This week's soup is in this little jar. I love that. Holy shit. Oh, that's so loud. The weather is, um, holy. It's very loud rain, which is so perfect for the vibes I got going on here. That chili ended up being so good. I had like, <laughs> Another little baby bowl. Absolutely delicious. Also, I did throw my bed a little together. I wasn't gonna full make it because I'm getting into it, you know, now. But I did a little something. We're just gonna throw on a little skincare and then we're crawling in. The one thing that I did not do that I meant to do today is unpack my suitcase, but that's fine. I'm just happy that all the clothes are picked up because that is really the thing that was bothering me the most. The suitcase I will do tomorrow. And normally, you know, I'll let it go for a long time, but I will take care of it because it's right on the landing there. So I can't forget Forget about it. When I go down for my run tomorrow morning, I'm going to throw things in the wash. It's gonna be a little two for one. Tomorrow morning is my second to last run of this program. And that is so insane. That's so insane. If you've ever trained for a 10K, let me know what program you use. I would still consider myself a beginner at the moment. So let me know what you recommend. I'm really excited to have the race officially signed up for because it's just gonna be that extra push to keep me going. Sign up came out at the perfect time, like literally the week that I'm finishing this program. It's all working out. No clothes on the ground is such a little joy. I love it. It's time. I'm clocking out. I'm going into this little world. I have many hours ahead. It is 9.14. I'm here. I have a good solid three hours that I can read this book and enjoy the world with sweet Zaddy Zayden. And with that, I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching it. The alpaca farm was so fun yesterday. That was such a highlight. <laughs> today was kind of a grind. I hope you enjoyed watching whatever the fuck today was. But again, I love you and I will see you in the next vlog.